I'm bringing you a very difficult case from uh, the daily practice. This is uh, the case of a seven years old child and uh, there are one and a half years between the two images. So this is the before and this is the after. And uh, as you can see, there's a significant change in the mood during these one and a half years. And the difficulty of the case coming from that the childhood melanoma is extremely rare but it exists. She is seven years old and generally the average age of the diagnosis of melanoma is 13 years. This is the high magnification dermatoscopic image of the initial lesion one and a half years ago when the child was less than six years old. And when you see something like this, you can see this is a congenital mole with globules and you can see the irregularity within it. But at this age, you don't do anything as just recommend a follow-up. This is the dermatoscopic high magnification image of the mole as it looks right now. You can clearly see the change in size, how the dark component has grown and the peripheral globules. So if this mole was on an adult, it's a straight away removal, but we are not so quick of, with more removals on a child. And we also know about the spits or reed navus, which can really mimic a melanoma and it's a benign lesion with a tendency to spontaneous disappearance but this is a difficult case so it is a very difficult decision to make to keep this lesion on the skin of this child or recommend removal knowing that it might be a benign lesion mimicking a melanoma so i reached out to professor arganciano that you can see uh, on the right side of the image uh, with me in Rome in the Dermatoscopic Excellence uh, training and I discussed the case with him and he also confirmed that it's better to have this more removed so the surgery is happening and I'm gonna update you with the histology result once I have received it so this is a beautiful case to uh, show the difficulty of uh, the diagnosis of pigmented lesions on children.